Hey everyone, thanks for joining me once again for another video. So this video I thought I'd bring to you because uh, just kind of keep you in the loop of what's going on. So today I'm actually on my way into the radiation um, department of the Multicare Regional Cancer Center. I'm going to see my radiation oncologist but also get everything started. So today is actually day one. It's about an hour and a half appointment and I'm going to, they're going to basically put me um, in this machine. They call it the donut. I don't really know what the official name of it is but I'll get that and bring that back to you. I'm going to go through the machine and from what I hear they're going to do some internal tattooing. Um, so yeah, tattooing but it's internal so you can't see it from the outside so that every time I come from, for radiation um, they will know where to align me up or how to align the machine up in the area that they want to target. So again, the appointment takes about an hour and a half and I'm heading in. So when I'm done with that appointment, I will get back to you and bring you um, all the exciting facts. So stay tuned. I'm heading in. Day one begins today. See you soon. So this is the big donut machine that they are going to put me in for internal tattooing and also to protect my heart and I'll go over that in a minute what I mean by that. But this is the machine. Hey everyone, I am finally done with my appointment at the radiation oncologist office and um, I am here to share the details with you so here we go first off I hope you had an opportunity to see the machine I think I mentioned it a little bit earlier that it was a donut I was going into but it's a, it's a machine high-powered machine that um, is basically studying the body and uh, in preparation for radiation so um, I went into this um, examining room or if you've ever had a CT scan or, or a PET scan or any type of scan before you go into this windowless room and there are some radiation technicians there, two women. Basically I got undressed from the waist up, put a gown on that was open in the back and I laid down on the bed and they positioned me in a way that um, cut, protected my neck got my face out of the way because we're radiating from the chest wall down to right underneath the breast on the left side so they want to make sure they don't radiate anything else so basically the goal today was pretty much to set me up because a medical physicist is going to create a diagram uh, based on how I was laying on the bed so there was um, I, my head was on this what felt like a bean bag and they took all the air out of it and they molded to my head and my arms because I had to hold my arms up and they were both my left and right arm or my hand uh, my arms were over my head and my hands were holding on to what looked like um, bicycle um, handlebars and so I held onto those turned my uh, face to the right had um, a little pillow under my legs and I was laid flat and I went back and forth through this donut shaped contract contraption and I did quite a few breathing tests and the reason for the breathing test where you take deep breaths in and hold is because they don't want to radiate my heart okay naturally if they're radiating my chest they could damage just about anything but what happens when you take a deep breath in and hold your heart shifts and it protects itself like it hides behind muscles or something so that it's not damaged um, specifically when you're doing radiation it's very important to protect that area and so I did numerous breathing tests and they documented that and they uh, did some scans they also did a CT scan because I found another lump I think I mentioned that in a previous video so they're, they were being very thorough um, getting all the scans, uh, documenting all the breathing, checking position, the position of my heart, uh, making sure they covered the full area that they want to eventually radiate. 
So it was really, really interesting. Um, but the biggest shocker to me is I think I mentioned earlier that I was going to have internal tattooing and I kept hearing about this internal tattooing. Folks, this is not internal tattooing. Folks, this is tattooing. Meaning they, they marked me uh, five different tiny spots. They're about the size of a mole, a little tiny mole or freckle. And um, they actually tattoo you with ink. And because I'm numb on my left side, I didn't feel the tattooing on the left side but I felt it everywhere else and it's just like a tattoo if you've ever had those before and they're not very pleasant but I took it like a champ but they are permanent because it is tattooing so you know what I learned something that I didn't know before so there you have it I was there about an hour and a half while they did all their studies again they're taking all this information and they're sending it to the medical physicist who is going to build a diagram, send that information back to them so that every time I come in from here on out to actually do radiation, they'll know how to exactly position me in the bed so that the radiation can hit all the target spots. Um, and just one thing, I wanna go back really quick. The reason why they did the tattooing is so they know how to align, which ways to align the lasers and also, they did the tattooings they did it in the middle of my sternum is because they put this breathing box on your chest, and it has to be in the exact exact same position every single time you radiate. So a lot of details that go into this, more than I ever imagined. But I did it. I got through it, and I want to share all this with you, um, so that you can share it with somebody else. Or if you're about to go it go through it, you'll know what to expect. I also got to pick up. Uh, my parking pass so um, if you go through radiation there should be special parking for you in the garage or whatever the facilities you're going through radiation at and I got to pick that up and um, it was a pretty good experience and so now um, I have this jacket and I need to get out of it because it is hot as fish grease out here and so I'm um, just bringing you the information sharing as part of um, my journey but also as part of the agreement to be transparent and share it all so that is what I'm doing and I hope everybody has a great day today and I sure know I am I am going to get out of this Sun because as of from this point on they no longer want me to really be in the Sun they want me to protect my skin so I'm going to do that and so everyone have a blessed day until um, I see you again bye bye